Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to discuss a rather important topic for the juniors. Now I can say juniors because I became a resident, I'm, I'm joking. It's for the medical students, my beloved medical students. I was just like you one and a half year ago and I still recall how much of a struggle it was sometimes to study some slides and also to arrange for revisions. So you could be studying some uh, systems like musculoskeletal or hematology and you have about 60 slides covering the pathology, the histology, the microbiology and then you have to go through them on a daily basis studying new lectures and then when the exam time comes, especially the final, you have to have studied the new final material while also have reviewed the midterm material which you didn't see since months. So it can be really difficult, especially in tough systems, bigger ones like gastrointestinal, um, cardiology where the physiology is art, neuro neurology. So this is the website from my great university, the University of Jordan uh, Medical School. Uh, the different patches, they have removed mine, Doctor 2017, which makes me sad. However, I'm going to head to 2023 and I will pick up a very random slide and I will show you how to convert it into an Anki card. Uh, Anki card, sorry, an Anki deck. Because again, I'm a big fan of Anki. Uh, in the previous video about residency, I have talked to you about how it can be helpful for people uh, who are doing their residency. And I have received uh, nice feedback and comments about how I could improve myself in my residency from some people. And uh, it was really very helpful. Uh, I really love that we help each other and that's something I would love to promote. There is, not, there is no meaning in competing and competing and competing. When you help others, God helps you. Um, so, I don't know what's the counter here. I hope God helps them. Maybe they have an exam. So, let's see some slide. So, for example, they make some summaries. I don't want to go over summaries. I want to go over the slide. So, courses list. It has been a long time since I visited this website. So, let's say final. Okay, they have molecular biology, microbiology. Let's go for microbiology, which can be tough for the majority of people. And then parapsychology and mycology, which is also tough. And let's see this one, mycotic infections. So I'm opening the PDF. It's my, by my loved doctor, Dr. Nader. If anyone knows him or sees this video, tell him that I give him props here because he's an amazing... Um, doctor and um yeah he had a huge role uh in my career he healed me a lot so back to the video so malassezia infections uh different things obviously there is images it will be hard to convert these however a lot of talk a lot of talk and what i would do if you are going to convert it to anaki i'm going to use the o1 version uh i have a premium chat gbt i don't get paid by ChatGPT to promote it or by Anki. However, they are really very helpful. So if you can afford it, do it. And I will just control all, but does that control everything or just this slide? So it controls everything. And I'm going to copy it. And just to confirm that it copies everything, I will open my word and paste it there. Okay, see, it didn't. So I will download it as a PDF. Maybe this helps. Then open that PDF as a whole. So open with Adobe Acrobat. I don't know if that helps. So control all C. Let's see if it did copy everything. It copied only this slide. So you can see the struggle I'm going through. So let me try to convert this into multi-page view or a scrolling view. I think then we will be able to copy everything. So how do we do that? Mm. I'm discovering it while filming this. Just, uh, I believe this is also helpful. So enable scrolling, I guess now I'm able to scroll. So you need to be flexible, right? You need to learn things while not knowing how to do them. I guess now it could be everything. So I'm able to copy everything now. I'll go to ChatGPT. I will ask it the O1 version. Uh, uh, this is a slideshow by Dr. Nader. Great guy. Could you please? make Anki cards that are focused and not about silly stuff but stuff that get examined um, make many but not too many you will need to prompt it you will need it to understand what you really aim for obviously it will not be perfect now I paste the text of the slide and let's go 
I'll scroll down. It's thinking. Hopefully it thinks of the right things. It's organizing the topics. Focusing the content. Someone would ask me why I didn't upload the PowerPoint or the PDF to ChatGPT. So when using the O1 version, it doesn't accept uploads. That's my experience with it. Um, so yeah, now it's crafting the Anki cards, which is good. I hope we see a good output. I hope. I hope it doesn't fail me. I hope. So detailing opportunistic infections. Below is a set of concise, high yield, Anki style flashcards covering key points, key points from Dr. Nader's slideshow. So what fungi is commonly causing? Uh, what fungi commonly cause bacteriasis verticolor? That's malassezia, that's good. The classic appearance of malassezia, the meatballs, spaghetti thing. That's nice, I really love it. Uh, this feels high yield, uh, feels really high yield. It's really very lovely. And they are making these uh, slides um, or sorry, these cards, and let it complete. Cryptococcus informants, India ink, very important question in the exams. They really like the use of the India ink stain to visualize the Cryptococcus informants in CSF samples. Obviously, it's a back and forth. I could chat back and ask it to include more stuff about certain aspects. It all depends how they examine these things in your university. And in most universities, you have samples of previous exams, which can also be helpful. So you could tell ChatGPT how you want the, the cards to look like. Uh, and if you want it to cover widely, you could tell it to cover widely. You want everything to be anky. Do you want selective things? It's up to you, depending on how do they examine you, which you know best. So after that, it had made these cards here. You could ask it to generate a, um, a downloadable file that you could open in Anki and import there. So I will not use O1 for that. I can actually use the normal chat GPT, meaning the for all. And I'm going to ask it, can we take all of these cards, all of them, because sometimes it will forget, it will not take all of them. So it's literally 20 cards, it shouldn't be difficult. I'm going to copy them because again, many times they will forget about them. So I'm copying from here down here so all of these cards and put them in a csv so comma separated values i don't know that i import to anki so i hope now it doesn't miss any of these so analyzing whenever chat gpt tells you it's analyzing that means that it's making a downloadable file very likely or doing some sort of uh, coding for you. Basically a file, most of the time. And you can see what it's doing. So it's making it. And they use the Python language for some ways, if that's relevant. So you can see it included really everything, the 20 questions, and here are the answers. And you will end up with a uh, basically an Excel file that you can import into your Anki, which will be our very next step. So I'm going to open my Anki. And I'm going to import a file. Let's wait for it to be downloaded and perform. So almost there. You can move 10 seconds further in this video until the process is complete. It's getting boring. I'll drink my coffee. I think it's done. Fantastic. So I'm downloading it, just pressing here, and it should download. So, so sometimes it can be could lag, this thing happens. Now, all right, let's see. So 
So I will refresh. Go back here and download. I think now it will work. Yep. So it was just lagging. I have downloaded it. Now import file, going to my downloads, choosing the fungal infections Anki. And now what you will do is Obviously, you will decide where to import it. Uh, let's put it here. I'm going to delete it later. Not type is going to be basic, so you will have a front of question answer. So, yeah, this is comma separated. So, here you have to choose comma. So, as you can see, now you have a question and the answer. So, choose comma when you use a CSV, CSV file. And now I'm importing it, but let's import it elsewhere. Uh, do I have something empty? I guess here It's really random um, So it showed me the cards as you can see which ones I come because of this This is the question. So if I go to the deck and start studying, I'll be able to do that. It has created me 20 um, so Almost I think maybe we are in 10 minutes and there was some lag and so on and so forth so I highly recommend it. Even if you study the slides, this is a good way to have them here and to be revising them continuously. And as a result, uh, perform better in your exams. Best of luck. Thank you for watching. See you.